Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome back to another Altered Art Spotlight brought to you in part by Manalik.com and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group, link in the description. Go like the page, you get to see pretty things, the admin team doesn't bite my head off for not sending you there, win-win for all of us. In this episode, we'll see an awesome Pokemon, the bane of Batman's existence, <laughs> an amazing Zelda-inspired altar, and more. Also, you'll want to stay for the end of the video, just you will, trust me. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, you uh, you could hit that like button. It supports the series, so, you know, do it. We'll begin the day with DG MTG Altars. I don't know what it is, but there's something about Sensei's Divining Top Blueprint Altars that just get to me, or really any kind of research type altar. This one's fantastic. The entire card has been turned into a research pad. The card text has been split up to look like notes, which is awesome, and there are various doodles of top designs throughout the art. That, along with the wear along the edges and the amazing shades of orange and brown, make this look so real. I can't get enough of these kinds of altars. Very well done. DG's second piece is this masterfully extended City of Brass. Now don't get me wrong, I love an extended cityscape as much as the next guy, but what really got me? The sky. Look how seamless that transition is from the original art to DG's work. Are you kidding me? Absolutely amazing. I always love the classic City of Brass art, and this extension does it justice to say the least. Very impressive. Really can't get over that sky though, and those mountains. Ah, so good. Next up is Fabian Altars. I've never seen Bane on a namesake card, but I'll take it. Bane of Progress is the perfect place to fit this guy. The altar is gorgeous, the ruffles in his shirt, the texture of the muscles, very well done with much attention paid to detail. You can also see this in the background. While there isn't a definitive landscape, I'm cool with that. The colors are perfect for the feel of the altar and the bats are a really nice touch. The mask and his eyes though, that's really where this comes together. I mean the detail, seriously. Crazy work, those eyes are going to give me nightmares. Oh, great stuff. Fabian's second work is masterful to say the least, and one of the most colorful cards we've ever seen. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre has never looked so beautiful. Never thought I'd say that. Majora's Mask from the Zelda series is the influence here, and man, Fabian really killed it with this one. The colors, the masks, the moon, everything is flawless, actually flawless. This is no longer a magic card. This is straight up a work of art, and it should be treated as such. I wish I could own this. Look at the masks. Look at the outfit. Look at the detail. I mean, come on. This may be the best altered card we've ever had on the show. Seriously, ever. I can't stop looking at it. Hold me back. Our last artist of the day is Mr. Shy Paints Cards and Rayquaza is so sick. I love Pokemon altars. They have a special place in my heart. Rayquaza on Damia? I'll take it. Love the colors, I love the stormy background, I love the decision to not extend this art all the way to the border. Something about it just seems better this way, like a frame picture. Again, the colors are super accurate, Rayquaza looks like a baller, pretty much spot on. Mr. Shy's second piece is, uh, that's... That's me, what? Who commissioned a card of me? Okay, wait, I got this, alright, let me... Yeah? That looks real, right? I'm even wearing the same shirt, it's the immersion. Why am I on a clone though? What does that say about me? I can't be my own man? Is that what you mean? Wow, I feel cold and lonely. Good thing I have this altar of me to keep me warm. Hey, wanna, you know, cuddle? Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Which pieces were your favorites? Let me know in the comments. Also remember, all of the artist's contact information will be in the description of the video. So go like their pages, follow them, and show your support. They certainly deserve it. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manosaurus, I'm Wedge, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.